Okay. 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 I like this. I like this. Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for joining me once again today. Um, today's video is a bit of a different one. I am doing a Halloween inspired makeup look. And um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the final results. I was super excited when I saw how it turned out. So yeah, stay tuned. So to start off, I just got myself a paper towel and I was dabbing my face to get rid of any excess oils that I might have. And um, now I am putting on some translucent powder because um, it is like the spring summer seasons now in South Africa and um, it is getting quite warm so I have oily skin and it's been producing a heck of a lot more oil than it would in the winter so uh, I just like putting setting powder as a precaution so that my skin doesn't produce too much oil while I have makeup on this is actually a hack that I found on um, what is it called TikTok and um, yeah it's been really helpful I've tried it multiple times and I love the outcome that I'm getting from it by the way guys happy belated um, Halloween it was Halloween the past weekend so yeah happy Halloween So now I'm going in with some tape. This is actually the first time that I've used this technique for eyeshadow. And I literally just decided to pull all the stops, you guys. Um, I just decided to try all the techniques that I've been thinking of trying but haven't been trying. Um, because I was like, this is a Halloween look. So let me just try new things. So this was um, <laughs> one of the new things that I tried. But um, yeah, so I used tape to just um, help me or help to guide the um, eyeshadow and just give me a clean winged look and yeah but it's actually quite uncomfortable at first <laughs> as you can see um but that's only because this literally was the first time i've actually used the tape on my face and um yeah i was getting used to the feeling so now i am starting out my eyeshadow look but i actually then realized soon after that yo i haven't done my eyebrows and if you guys watch any of my makeup videos you will know that i always 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 start with um, my eyebrows so um i did notice after a while i was like oh crap i haven't done my brows so i stopped yep this is it <laughs> so i stopped and um went on to doing my eyebrows so for my eyebrows uh i used my spoolie to just kind of um brush up the brow hairs uh, this is usually what I do for my normal general brow anyway but uh, this is also one of the points where I was like you know what this is a Halloween look so let me just try something new that I wouldn't usually do um, on a regular makeup look and that you guys was a soap brow so I recently got um, this soap I saw on YouTube that the people are using this soap it's called pure soap um, they're using it for their brows so I was just like you know what let me just try it so I tried uh, using it and basically what I'm doing is just spraying the soap with some um, setting spray so that I can just get it a bit wet and then after spraying I dipped my brow in there and just picked up as much soap as I could get or just the right amount that I needed for my brows and then I just put it straight onto the brow so you guys are gonna see that in a little bit quick disclaimer you guys um, I actually filmed this video late like I think it was like 4 p.m. when I um, filmed it so there are some steps that I cut out that I usually would be doing um, in a general makeup look but I cut a lot of steps out because um, I was actually um, chasing the sun <laughs> um, yeah like I was just uh, trying to move fast because I was losing natural light and for anyone who films you guys know that natural light is the best lighting to use so um, yeah I was just racing against time 
um, because I did start filming very very late so you guys are gonna see a bit of a transition with my lighting throughout the video because it was actually getting dark um, but yeah that was a quick disclaimer anyway back to the look um, yeah so I'm using this uh, soap brow on my brows then um, after I had sleeked down the brows I noticed that my brows were a bit um, light and uh, they were looking sparse so I just decided to add um, an eyebrow pencil to just help me to get them look full so I was just filling them up and I also wanted to get them darker in terms of the color so I did it uh, with the brow pencil and I just followed the um, direction in which I laid the hairs then after that I went back in with the spoolie to just um, diffuse all the brush I mean the pencil strokes so that they weren't too apparent and too in your face but yeah that is what you see me doing right now can you see how shocked I was <laughs> with the brows I've never done a brow like this anyway so I decided to go in with um, a makeup wipe because uh, I had excess soap around the brows and I felt like it would maybe conflict with the foundation if I didn't wipe it off so I decided to wipe that off and then after I've cleaned up the area I go back with a translucent powder to um, replace the powder that I wiped off because after wiping off the brows I actually noticed that I wiped off the powder that I started off with so just to secure my base again I went back in with a translucent powder and you guys are gonna see me do that shortly which is right about now I swear guys these Yardley brushes are the bomb this is not sponsored although I wish it was because I love these brushes so much um, but yeah if you guys go to this cam you guys can find these brushes they literally are so soft and they are so amazing anyway I go in to my eyeshadow look now um, I just started off with a brown base and guys like for me brown is my safe zone so that's why I always start with it and then um, even right now I had no idea what direction I wanted to go with the look I was literally was just feeling it out the one thing I did know though was that I wanted to do a scar look because since it was Halloween um, a lot of the videos that were, that were recommended to me on YouTube were um, these like gory makeup looks so I was just like yo let me try it so I knew I wanted to do a scar but um, in terms of the rest of the face I really didn't know what I wanted to do so yeah I was just literally going with the flow but brown for me is my safe zone so that's where I started by the way there's one thing that I missed out um, with the eye which is actually prepping the eye either with the eye primer or with concealer I didn't do that because again as I said you guys I was rushing um, because I was losing significant lights rapidly so I just um, yeah, I decided to just go straight in with the eyeshadow now I'm going in with a black glittery shimmery shade and basically again this has nothing to do with this like look as a whole I literally was just looking at my Lungile X Scarlet Hill palette and I saw this um, glittery black shade and I was like I don't think I'm ever gonna use this ever again so might as well just use it for this look so yeah this was just literally an impulsive decision that I made on the spot to use that glittery shade and I'm just laying it on like how you would do a cut crease so that is what I'm doing right now and yeah it actually turned out good I was really pleased with how it turned out but yeah the reason why I used this shade is because I don't think I'm ever gonna use it like never say never but I don't think I'm gonna use it ever again because I don't like doing too many shimmery shades for my eyes so then I go in with a liquid liner this was also um, well this was like my second attempt at using it um, the first time I tried using it it didn't work out I did not like how it looked um, my hands were shaking so I didn't like it this is the um, Lottie London um, liquid liner I actually really like this one because it's more like a pen so it's easier to control I have really shaky hands so that's why you guys notice that I never do a liquid liner in any of my makeup looks on my channel that's because my hands are always super shaky so I can't really control it but this was a pleasure to use like it was super pleasant so I was excited about that so I ripped off the tape and I liked how clean it looked I wasn't sure about how I felt about the eye as a whole 
but it ended up actually fitting the look as time went on so yeah and also when i do makeup this is how i always feel about my eyeshadow i'm always like i don't know if i like it and then right until the end i'm like okay actually it looks good so yeah this was the eye look no idea how to use this i don't know if it's right i think i want to wet my uh, hands with some setting spray oh i feel like this is too sticky here i really think so Okay, so I'm rolling this wax into this log shape and I'm going to put it right on my face. Hi! I have, <laughs> I have no idea how this is going to go. But firstly, I'm just gonna press. Oh my gosh, it's falling! <gasps> I feel like I'm either too wet and like too sticky. Oh my gosh. Now I'm smoothing down the sides. So guys, I'm just following the exact same process that I had with the first one, which is basically just to lay down the strip and then use the teaspoon to kind of smooth down the edges to help it um, one, stick or like adhere to your face and then two to have the edges actually blend in with the skin so that it doesn't look like it's just a blob that is sitting on your face but it actually looks like it is a part of your skin um if you guys are interested in knowing how i got the wax i actually used a mixture of vaseline and flour and this is just a tutorial that i found on youtube it's easy to find so you guys can just check out youtube i will maybe link a few of the videos that i saw um, I just used a teaspoon of Vaseline and then I eyeballed the um, flour so I could get the consistency that I needed. You don't want it to be too crumbly but you also don't want it to be too sticky so you just have to have like a doughy consistency to it. And yeah, like it was really really easy to use. Okay, 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 I, I like this, I like this. So I then just went in with um, some translucent powder to go over the wax and I did this just to set it because I felt like it was a bit too sticky and it was going to conflict with the foundation once I put it on or like it would be harder to put the foundation on so I just decided to put the setting powder on top so that I can like swat off dry it up a bit um, and also yeah, have it just set in place and have it easier to work with um, and then the brush actually like was pressing it down a bit so i just went in with my fingers to get it to perk up again um now i'm going in with the foundation this is literally just my general normal foundation routine so um i'm just going to time lapse that for you guys um so you guys can see how i worked up my way around the wound parts of the foundation So I'm just using the foundation um, around the perimeter of the actual wax and the reason why I'm doing this is because you don't want to use your good brushes on the wax because it's literally going to mess up your brush so um, find a brush that you don't care about or maybe that's just old um, and then use that to put foundation over the wax but 
for the good brushes use it around the wax and then use the brush that you don't care about on the wax and you will see me doing that right now and um yeah i'm just gonna lightly dab the foundation on the wax you don't want to press too much or dab too hard because then you're going to deform um the shape that you've already gotten with the wax so you want to do everything super super lightly i know it looks like i'm literally going ham on my face right now but it's light um yeah you want to dab very very lightly on the um wound and yeah now i'm going in with a red eyeshadow to kind of make the wound look inflamed and irritated so i will suggest that you guys go on google and just google some images on how a wound would look for your complexion and now for the best part of makeup it is contour so i'm just doing contour on my cheek and on my forehead on on my jaw and the nose and for me literally contour is my favorite step in doing makeup i literally could do it without any other step except for contour like contour for me is the best because you literally get to highlight and accentuate your bone structure or even create a whole new bone structure just with a simple contour step so that is literally my favorite part and i just feel like it's so brilliant how it can change um the way that your face looks so yeah i love contour literally it's my catfish technique <laughs> um but yeah so you just want to contour um your forehead and your cheek and your jaw and also your nose i actually forgot to do my nose so i'll go back a little later on in the video to do my nose contour um but yeah basically just the rest of the face was literally um my normal makeup routine it's just this wound that's a bit different
so now i'm going in with a little bit of blush to kind of bring back some warmth to my face again i didn't do too much blush because at this point i actually had decided on the look that i wanted or like what i wanted to be and it basically was just a an undead um widow or scarred widow so i don't want to look too warm in the face so i just did a little bit of um blush because obviously she's undead i was so pleased with how the wound was looking so far and i wasn't even done with it but yeah um obviously she's undead so i still wanted to have some warmth to show that there is some blood in her veins but i don't want it to be too warm to where i look like i look fully alive you know so yeah so i'm going in with a little bit of blush um, around my nose or across the nose like the button of the nose a little bit on my cheek and also on how bomb is this scar looking so far guys like and it's not even done then this is where i remembered that i hadn't done my nose contour so i went in with that like yeah that's one of my favorite things to contour as well the nose um yeah so i'm going in with nose contour and then we'll be jumping into the exciting parts of this video by the way doing the mascara is not the exciting part like i love my mascara it is the new color mascara by new skin but no it's not the exciting part the exciting part should be coming after this <laughs> but yeah i was just putting some mascara on my lashes i don't do any false lashes because my falsies are actually dirty so yeah i just did mascara only and by the way you guys at this point um uh there was actually no natural lights left so the lighting here now is all artificial which isn't the best lighting but i had to make do anyway so now i'm using fake blood ah, ah! my dress my dress my dress Oh no! <gasps> yeah, so wearing a white dress while using fake blood was not the best decision, but anyway, it is what it is. <laughs> um, now I decided to use a syringe instead to help me um, put the fake blood on. I'm not gonna say it was any less messier to be honest because this poor towel also got really messed up. Um, yeah, I actually haven't washed it, so I think I want to let you guys know in the next video whether or not it's easy to clean out fake blood from your clothes. Um, I tried hand washing the dress, but it was really hard to get it off, so I put it in the washing machine, and I haven't seen how it turned out yet, so I'll let you guys know once, yeah, once my clothes are clean. But anyway, I'm using the syringe to put fake blood on this wound, and literally the more and more was adding the more real it was looking and the more sick it was looking like i was so pleased and so impressed with myself like this was my very first time doing this and yeah i'm really happy with how it turned out and yeah i was so excited i actually was doubting that i'd be able to get it to look this good but it worked and i was like so glad that it did um yeah so doing this look was so worth it, it took a little while but yeah it was so worth it so yeah, I'm adding more and more blood using the um, syringe and that is just helping me get more specific areas. I then also decided to mix some of the fake blood with a translucent powder so that I can change the consistency of it and also change the um, color. And the reason why I wanted it to be a bit pink was that I wanted the inside to look like raw flesh and also look a bit pussy. Um, so yeah, I achieved that by just mixing the blood with translucent powder and it actually turned out really well. Um, at this point I was literally just like winging it and I'm glad that it actually worked out because it actually did look like it was exposed raw flesh, you know. And then yeah, I went back in with the syringe and the fake blood and yeah, it was just literally looking more and more real. And I was super impressed with how it was turning out. So then the other side was starting to feel a bit too plain. So I decided to use my liquid liner to just 
do like lines like as if my face was cracking or something um i literally was just thinking about twilight and like you know how they when they snap the head off a vampire they kind of have the cracks first and then it snaps off so that's kind of what i was trying to achieve with this like have those crack lines going on um yeah and actually this parts or especially the cheek line that i did there was actually my favorite part of of the makeup look surprisingly more than the wound um as cool as the wound looks this was actually my favorite part so i'm glad i did that because the other side of my face was starting to feel a bit too plain and like the wound was front and center which is what it is supposed to be but it was just looking too plain so i added these lines and yeah it was a cool detail to add in bruh look at this can you tell how impressed i was with myself <laughs> So this is the final look you guys, the scarred widow. I was so impressed with how it turned out, more especially because this was my first time ever doing special effects makeup and yeah, like it looked so cool, I was super impressed with it. So let me guys know what you guys think in the comments section and if you know anything about special effects makeup, give me some tips in the comments, you know. Um, I'd love to try doing this again. I think this has been my favorite video that I've done thus far. I really enjoyed it more especially because I was just experimenting and I was walking into the unknown but yeah so um, please like comment and share this video if you are new please subscribe and turn your post notifications on if you haven't and yeah I'll see you guys in my next video uh, I hope it's this one <laughs> bye guys hey